Welcome to another session. I have my good friend Christina here, and we're going to be covering division today. And division is cousin of multiplication, so we're going to start with multiplication. We have a 23 times 15. Uh, I always say let's start with multiplication because that's easy one we can all relate to, right? Right. So if I'm going to multiply 23 times 15, I will do my Multiplication, I take, I multiply 5 times 3 to awesome. get 15, carry. 5 times 2 is 10, carry, add the 1, and I get 11. Very now, since good. the 1 is at the 10, I have to put the 0 in the 1's place, and 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 2 is 2. Then I add my, you know, my 1's columns, I get 5 1's, my 10's columns, I get 4 10's, my 100's, I get 300's. My answer is 345. Fabulous. So a easy way for kids is 23 buddies, each one has 15 cookies. How many do I have to bake? That's a lot of cookies That's moms to 345 bake. cookies. <laughs> right. So this is to show the division is the opposite of multiplication. Here we're starting with our 345 cookies and we've got 15 buddies. How many cookies does each buddy get to take home with them, right? Yeah, that's a good start. And now a lot of the kids don't feel comfortable with division. So if you're teaching this at home with your kids, what's really important is you're really related it to something that they feel comfortable with, which is multiplication. So what I usually do is on this side, I write 15 over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get them started on 15 times. Uh huh. And then I write a one, two, three, all the way to nine, because okay. it's only just one digit, right? So we're looking for that one digit amount on this side, mm -hmm. um, if I can borrow your pen. So we're basically looking for a magic number on this side to say, okay, 15 times what is going to go on this box over here? So the reason I put box over here is that, you know, with kids, if they have certain um, certainty, certain mm -hmm. certainty, uh, they feel less, less anxious. And you're less likely to make a mistake if it's very clear that the box goes over the hundreds, over the tens, over the, over the ones. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So what I want to do now is run a little scenario with you. All right. And you're a great writer, so we can come up with a story that kids mm -hmm. can relate to. So here's the 15, okay, 15 people or 15 kids outside knocking on the door because this thing looked like a house. Right. Yes. Let's see if we can have like a little different color. Okay. So this is our house over here. Fifteen knock on the door. It says knock knock, and three says, "Oh no, I can't take care of that." So I'm gonna go zero. There's nothing I can do. Then it says, "Okay, I'm gonna go get a buddy." Now I have thirty-four. Right. Mm -hmm. Looking over on this side, fifteen says, "Okay, so what can I do over here?" We're gonna fill this box over here. Fifteen times one is fifteen. I'll give you the pen back. Right. Right. So, fifteen times. So again, I'm I'm doing the multiplication. I'm trying to relate division to multiplication. And fifteen That's times two, two is thirty. And next. And fifteen one is times like three is forty-five. Yeah. So once again, once we have this one, uh, the kid is thinking, "Okay, I'm just looking for." A number that would not blow up 34 right but as close as I can get right obviously 30 is the closest 30 one. is closer than 15 mm -hmm. and 45 would be the blow up yep. so, I, so I put I put the 2 yep. over there over here so 15 times 2 which is this one over is here is 30 yep now we've got some now We've got something left over. We've got a yep. four. We've got a four left over. Yep. Four says, "Uh oh, I can't take care of 15. Again, 15 is outside knocking, right? Mm -hmm. So five. Let's draw an arrow down here. Five gets carried down because four is asking for help. Four says, "Oh no, help!" Right now we're at a 45. 45. And then, then again, I'm converting back to multiplication. Mm -hmm. It's three. It's right there. Right there. Right. So 23 is our answer because 15 mm -hmm. times three is our 45. So 300 and 45, 45 divided by 15 equals 23. Perfect. So let's finish on this side. So it's 45 minus 45 over here, mm -hmm. then it's a zero. Cool. All right. So on this page, what we have is 
division doesn't finish once you get the answer because really important is a connecting to multiplication mm -hmm. kids don't feel anxious that's something they already know and this one is what you brought in and which is fabulous i think it's called uh what did you call well, um when you're learning early multiplication they could hold magic triangles mm -hmm. because they're to show relationships between numbers for example here's a small one you know three times four equals twelve mm -hmm. um and the extension of that is to see that this, you know, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12. But by extension, 12 divided by 3 gives you 4, and 12 divided by 4 gives you 3. I love this because visually, for kids, we're demonstrating 12, 3, and 4 has the interconnectedness. Yes, they, they, they connect to each other. If you've got 3 and 4, the third number has to be 12 if you're multiplying and dividing. So it's like a what's the missing buddy almost. Yes, right? yes. Okay, what's so the missing piece? For our case, then 15 is on top. Mm -hmm. 15, 23, and 345 are interconnected then. Yes, because 15 times 23 gives you. 345, mm -hmm. 23 times 15 gives you 345, mm -hmm. but you can also do this division. 345 divided by 23 gives you 15, and 345 divided by 15 gives you 23. These three numbers form a triangle. They're very stable together. They're, rel they're related together. Yeah, I think at this last step, it's often ignored, but I think mm -hmm. at the beginning, especially when you're just introducing division, it's yes. really good for the kids to visually see it. Yes, yes. And we're not likely to need to memorize these three numbers related to each other, but there are other triangles which are very important to memorize in multiplication and division yes. because you use them so many times. Yes. Last time we were talking about the, the, the um, ones you have to memorize, Memorize. So you can make a triangle with 7 times 8. That's the 56 yes. part of the multiplication you could, table. You could make the three, the three tricky ones as to magic triangles. I like multiplication that. Triangles. I like that. It says mm -hmm. the, what do you want to call this? M and D, multiplication Mul division. Multiplication division, yes. Yes. The, the, the mom and dads of math, the, the M and D triangles. The mom is the multiplier and, and the, the dad, dad is, is the division. divider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I need another question. This is awesome. I love this. Um, I think it's really good to show that uh, you can, you're looking for the best fit. Mm -hmm. and, and and showing the the number of times it's it's uh, the multiplying digits you can get the best fit very clearly I like that a lot and and then it, by going on further that proved helpful you know we found that we, we we used that the 15 times three in the very next step so that was it was good to have the whole array there I think so I think especially for kids who are just starting with a division starting with something they already know mm -hmm. calms them down and it's no longer a terrible guessing job it's more of a lookup test Table, right. right. A look type of table is much easier for kids. And what what I think it's really important whenever you introduce a new thing, you want to minimize the anxiety. And little by little, kids says, you know, learning a new thing is not that bad. It's just adding a little bit on top of what I already know. Yes. Instead of this, bam, this new thing, which is really anxious for kids. And reducing the anxiety for kids is very important because that retains that joy especially, and curiosity. Especially if you see how the new knowledge grows out of the old knowledge, like the new branch on a tree or the new leaf. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Great. Um, next time, we're going to cover percentage and decimals. That'll be interesting because that's a real challenge for a lot of people. All right. Looking forward to it. <laughs> as am I. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording live from Tucson, Arizona. Thanks for watching.